Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibdu7 here again, and welcome to another Hardcore Iron Man episode here today. In this one, we are going to be going for the final few quests we have left for our quest cape, as well as a pretty significant level up in there as well that I hadn't really talked about too much prior to now, but is something that you really want to get out of the way pretty much as soon as possible, and definitely at the point in the account where I am at. After completing probably the hardest quest in the game, Sliske's Endgame, in the last episode, we really don't have too many barriers for our quest cape outside of getting a bunch of Menaphos reputation, and from there we'll be able to, you know, move on and finish off the rest of them without too much problem. And um, yeah, we're pretty much going to jump into it here. We've got couple of post commentary clips here at the beginning and then the uh, last few at the end will be some live com so yeah hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's jump on into the clips here first one we have is going to be a quest that we didn't really need to get too much rep for because it's a pretty low requirement I think I might have even already had the requirement for this one just from doing various things in Menaphos previously um, so it's definitely not too tough and I've been using the Soul Obelisk FC to get the Soul Obelisks every day for the massive amount of rep those do offer which is really nice uh, and that's the Crocodile Tears quest completed one good thing about this one is it gives you immunity to desert heat uh, and then it also gets you even more reputation like from doing pretty much everything in Menaphos you get like I think it's 150 percent after completing this one it also gave us 75 fishing which is pretty nice um, but yeah really really annoying quest because you have to go talk to the, the crocodile bitch and then go get the stuff for her afterwards and like gifted like four agility pyramids and stuff like that so not my favorite quest to be honest but it was a nice one to get done especially for that nice desert heat immunity I mean don't spend too much time in the desert but uh, I think that's pretty much the main place to get either necrite or phasmatite I don't remember which one it is I don't know if there's somewhere else you unlock later on that's better but uh, I know that's where I mined it for when I was doing my mining and smithing but yeah the next uh, next clip here is gonna be the next quest in that chain this one obviously we had to get a decent amount of more rep for and I was pretty much doing soul obelisks and also doing um, fishing in Menaphos to get these uh, I unlocked the VIP skilling area at some point which made it a bit easier but it is a decent place to train your fishing anyways and the belt fish you get there are actually better than monkfish in terms of food they heal 50 more which I guess is pretty good uh, so there is the quest completion for our man in the north we get an even more increased amount of uh, rep gain as well as another one of those relics that you can use for some short uh, little boost of towards your rep um, so yeah the remaining three quests now are fight club chef's assistant and curse of the black stone Fight Club obviously going to be a huge pain because you need a ton of rep for that one. And the boss fight could potentially be a little dangerous if you're not careful, but um, you know, I, I shouldn't have too many issues with it after doing Sliske's Endgame. The next couple of clips here, we actually have some PVM on the series. We haven't done too much PVM because we've been focusing a lot on the quest cape, but we're here at QBD, which I was able to do a bit of because I got myself. Um, a boost on my herb lord to make some super anti fires and it's not too bad when I'm using my melee setup here and uh, we actually managed to pick up one piece of the royal crossbow the royal bolt stabilizer which is pretty good that was probably like within my first 10 kills because um, I was doing this for a reaper task initially that I had been assigned so uh, that's the main reason I went out here and it'll be really nice if we can get a full royal crossbow to get a nice tier 80 uh, range weapon aside from the uh, the sun spear it's nice to have the crossbow because you can use dragon bane stuff with it so yeah we're, I'm uh, hoping I can get some more pieces of that here in the future and uh, yeah next clip here we have another one at the QBD uh, I don't have too many too many issues really with like almost dying or anything like that here it's it's pretty easy um, the reason I, I've actually died here twice on my other hardcore because of disconnects but that was back when I was in college and had terrible internet so hopefully we shouldn't have any problems with this place in the future but unfortunately this next drop here is the dragon bone upgrade kit which is quite a bit rarer than like any crossbow pieces or anything like that so that kind of sucks it's obviously good because it adds another thing to our collection log here which is obviously our main goal eventually on the account but yeah that was only probably like three kills I think after the the robot stabilizer so 
we got ourselves a dragon bone upgrade kit <laughs> kind of sucks uh and you know it's it's pretty pretty worthless item in in every way really just a cosmetic for items that i likely won't ever have now this next clip is probably a, it's a little bit out of nowhere because i haven't shown any progress towards this uh yet but we're going to be getting 95 prayer in this clip so the entire time i was doing menaphos rep and this was over like a couple of weeks probably um, I was doing my Menaphos rep and then whenever there was a half an hour I would just go and train my prayer because I had like that 70 or 80 mil GP from doing 99 smithing and that is just pretty much what I use to train my prayer up here and I've got managed to get my way all the way up to uh, 95 where we get ourselves the three uh, different turmoil prayers and soul split unlocked so really really good thing to get out of the way obviously we can now go ahead and do some more slayer with uh, with that since it will be easier as well as maybe some god wars it'll just make everything nicer and easier to complete and it's one of those three pillars of pvm that you want to get before you get into any of that real high level stuff you want the turmoil and overloads and the yak mainly i mean you don't really need the yak nowadays but you still need high summoning for various things like night hills uh, steel titan stuff like that but yeah i was pretty excited to get this out of the way obviously not too difficult to get once you already have that cash but it still is a decent amount of time and um, having to do it always on the heffin hours was a bit of a pain here i was just so close to finishing so i went over and just finished it off when it wasn't heffin hour but yeah, that is 95 prayer. Really, really nice thing to hit and get out of the way. We obviously have now unlocked turmoil and soul split. And we're going to head over to the temple that sent us in to uh, go ahead and get those act those curses activated. Um, but after this clip, the last uh, three clips or so in this video are going to be some live commentary. And then I will do a little post commentary to wrap up the video. But yeah really really big milestone here for our the account getting 95 prayer and uh yeah the next thing we're really going to want to get is probably going to end up being uh overloads but i'm not sure how long that'll be because we'll probably do a bunch of pvm and slayer to get the required herbs for that but yeah anyways i will see you guys at the end of the video enjoy the rest of the clips here Okay guys, we have finally managed to get all the reputation required for this quest and it honestly didn't take as long as I thought it would because I was making good use of the Soul Obby FC, doing my Soul Obelisks every day and then uh, also doing Scarabs quite often to get the rep you can get from those and this should be it. Yep, quest complete. That was a little weird little teleport there. But we get one quest point, access to the soul altar, passage between Menaphos and Sophonem via the bridge, the Pharaoh's Mask, and Scepter Cosmetics, the relic for some rep, and my Menaphos reputation gain is increased to 200. Now we are good here. Uh, I was a bit worried for this quest because the wiki said some, some suspicious things on it here. You'll see I'm wearing a Ring of Life, which I don't normally tend to do. Um, it doesn't really, it isn't really something I usually wear just because I have the sign of life and I don't think the ring of life is going to save me really that much but maybe I will at some places but I wore it here because in the wiki on the guide for this quest it says a ring of life is highly recommended especially for hardcore Iron Man due to a possible glitch causing a guaranteed death. So I didn't know what that meant because they don't elaborate at all they don't tell you what this glitch is or how it happens or anything like that. Um, they just, oh, one of the cats, hell yeah, give me that. Um, but, yeah, they just have that listed there, so I was like, what, what is going to happen? I don't know, get the fuck away from me. Um, and then I, I watched a video guide on it, the person who made the video guide didn't mention anything of it, and it looked pretty easy from there, you know, when they were doing it, and it ended up being pretty easy, to be honest. Uh, the first phase where you fight the guards is super easy. After killing them, you can leave and restock, which I did. And then I went ahead and, you know, fought the pharaoh. I had all this left. I was overeating a lot just because he has some specs that can hit you kind of high, and it's, you know, just better safe than sorry, you know, to overeat. Is this the worker district? So I'm going to use my relic on this guy to get my worker district rep. 15,000! Um, and mainly that's because I want to have the deposit box in all of them, which I do now. Um, but yeah, that is the quest done. Uh, again, definitely not too spooky. 
in the end, but that message on the wiki did scare me. Uh, but yeah, the Pharaoh fight, very, very easy in general. Didn't have too any issues with it. So all we have left are two quests, Curse of the Black Stone and Chef's Assistant. We're going to end it off on Chef's Assistant, of course. But uh, for Curse of the Black Stone, I'm actually already done with Amanishi. I did it on story mode. I'm doing them all on story mode for this quest, uh, which makes the, everything in there deal only 10% of its damage that it normally deals, and they have half health. So I feel like I'll be fine doing all of them on story mode. Uh, I shouldn't have any issue really with, with them as far as I can tell. So yeah, we're going to be heading to Dragonkin Laboratory now for that. And uh, also, you know, I have these rock tails that I got from QBD. Brought them some of them for this uh, fight, and um, I can use those for Curse of the Black Stone as well. But yeah, the next two clips we're gonna have Curse of the Black Stone, and then we're gonna have Chef's Assistant and our Quest Cape, guys. Finally, this rep grind wasn't too bad, like I said, and I did get up to 78 fishing, and I also have, I think, just about enough to get me 80 cooking, so I can start cooking some of the raw sharks I've gotten from various places. So yeah, we are getting pretty close to being able to do some pretty sweet uh, things on the account. I'm definitely going to be looking into doing some God Wars and other things now that I have Soul Split and I can really get stuck into doing some Slayer as well with Soul Split making it a lot nicer to do. Um, although I do want to do some Dunge as well to get a couple different things that I don't have just yet. The future is bright now that we've finally made it through all the dangerous quests and the spookiness uh, of the quest cape. Curse the Blackstone I'm really not worried about because these story mode late dungeons are very easy. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next clip for Curse of the Black Stone. All right, you guys, we are about to finish off the ambassador here in story mode. Down he goes. Uh, and that is the last thing we needed to do for the Curse of the Black Stone quest. And let me just say, this is easily the longest quest in the game if you haven't done the elite dungeons prior to doing it especially if you are like me and not even remotely close to having the actual gear you need for Elite Dungeons. Um, because even though I'm in story mode and the damage is 10% and they have half health, which makes it a lot easier, obviously, and it, it pretty much makes it a complete joke. Like, like I, I didn't really need much supplies, except obviously for the Ambassador, I needed a bit. Uh, but it's, it wasn't hard at all. Um, but one fight that really sucked was the second fight in ED3, the Necromancer, because he can heal off those skeletons he spawns. And it, that fight took me like 15 minutes because he kept healing and it was just a pain in the ass. Um, but the problem is they don't reduce the defense. Uh, so, like, elite dungeons are kind of based around, I would say, at least tier 85s from God Wars 2, if not tier 90s. And I have my tier 78 Sun Spear here, and the defense of all the monsters isn't reduced in story mode. So it's really, really annoying and really, really slow going through it. So this quest took me forever to do, because uh, I had to do all three dungeons, of course. But we managed to slog our way through it, and we defeated the Ambassador, completing this quest in the end. Um, not my favorite new quest, honestly. Uh, I think it's nice that they brought the Elite Dungeons into a quest as a whole in terms of like, you know, creating a cool storyline, but the things you have to do in between the Elite Dungeons are kind of meh. I don't know. It's not the most interesting uh, stuff, especially, you know, having to go talk to freaking seagulls on in the Ark area and stuff, but. Either way, that is the quest completed, Curse of the Black Stone, four quest points from that one, a nice 10% damage reduction across all three elite dungeons, which will be obviously beneficial in the future, and then three huge XP lamps. I don't know why I got this Moonlight Mead here, that's a weird thing to receive for no reason. Um, <laughs> I guess for like... Um, like celebration of, of defeating the ambassador and we're gonna just chuck all these on herblore uh, again that's the main thing I think I should be using all my XP and nice 108k XP uh, and we're almost 84 so two more levels once we're 85 we can use our stone touch lamps from Sliske's endgame get a huge amount of XP but yeah that is that quest we just have one more to go and it is the grueling the highly dangerous chef's assistant let's get it done guys 
All right, it is finally time. Ever since the Chaos title completion, we have been building up to this final eventual moment. It's been our main goal ever since then to complete all of the quests, and we are about to finish off the final one. Chef's assistant here. These are the stats we have at this point in the account for completing all of the quests. Um, so yeah pretty good you do need a lot of high levels nowadays for the quest cape so you know that's the main reason why it took so so long but from here um, I'm probably gonna work on getting some better food going so I'm probably just gonna finish off 80 cooking and then you know we can start going God Wars once we get some good gear from there you know it's all it's all uphill God Wars 2 further down the line you know racks eventually and uh, you know gotta get to Telos at some point so really looking forward to continuing on from here now that I don't have to you know be going for quests all the time and uh, yeah we uh, we made it zero deaths and hopefully we can continue that from here chef's assistant complete one quest point 1500 XP cooking lamp three cheesecakes and we can make cheesecakes and biscuits there it is Chef's assistant, 409 quest points. I thought you got a broadcast for when you got the quest cape, but I guess I was wrong. But there it is, the whole list of green. We've done it. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to continuing on from here. See you guys in the next clip. All right, you guys, so that is going to be the end of this episode of the Hardcore Iron Man Progress series. We managed to do it, get the quest cape without any deaths on the account. Didn't even proc my sign of life once somehow, which is pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with that. And, uh, yeah, now we've got a whole lot of other things that we can go and do now that we don't have to be focusing too hard on quest cape or questing anymore. Um, definitely going to be, like I said, getting into some more QBD maybe trying to get that Royal Crossbow then heading over to uh, to God Wars mainly Zami right now is what I would be focusing on and then once I get 85 ranged and unlock uh, death swiftness I can go and do some armadillo as well try and get some of that armor um, but yeah for the most part we're gonna be doing those low lower levels of PVM trying to get our first bits of armor and stuff out of the way from God Wars and stuff like that as well as working on our Slayer a little bit trying to get that up to uh, you know just get a bunch of stuff that you can get from it um, another thing that I could possibly think about getting that I, I learned about recently was is the uh, the elemental impetus also known as the tide pod which you can get from master clue scrolls as that lets you create a tier 82 mage weapon which would be pretty nice for me considering my current best mage weapon is of course the um, tier 78 sun spear I do have those Zuriel staffs in my bank from the Chaos title grind, and I technically could get the um, the patches for it from Wilderness Slayer, but I'm not sure I feel comfortable doing that uh, on this account at this point. I want to stay out of the Wilderness at all costs at this point if I can avoid it, so probably won't be going for that, but yeah, maybe if I uh, get some clue scrolls here, I can give a shot at doing some masters although there's a lot of requirements that I am unable to complete which would suck to you know have to get deal with but either way we'll have to wait and see what's uh, what I decide to do in the upcoming episodes I hope you all did enjoy this one uh, yeah we made it thanks for watching you guys peace out